Good morning, church. Uh, Pastor Joe here. Just a, a few thoughts to start off your week. I'm, I'm spending a little time in Colossians this morning. So this are uh, the words of Paul in his letter Colossians. Like this is coming from the third chapter, uh, beginning with the 12th verse. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. In this passage, I mean, there's a lot that Paul uh, loads into this paragraph but there's this recurrent theme about how our lives as Christians draw us to lives of thankfulness, of recognizing what God has done on our behalf, that it might fill us with joy and lead us to thankfulness and gratitude that overflows from us, transforming our lives and the communities that we're a part of. Um, and there's, there's much to be thankful about in our world, the, the joys of good friends, of good stories, of laughter, of fresh air, of food on our plates, of, of ice uh, in our ice water. Um, I'm often, a little mantra of mine is to, whenever I get ice from the freezer, I just think to myself, like royalty, you know, just to have ice on hand whenever we want it, that there are so many um, little things that, that if we, if we attend to them, if we're mindful of these kind of blessings and these are just you know kind of the mundane blessings that that we enjoy and appreciate from happening to be born in a particular time and place in human history you know but to lean even more fully into the the deep and abiding richness of joy and peace and thankfulness that flows from knowing that God sees us sees you, sees me in our fullness, loves us and claims us through Christ. That that type of rich thankfulness, you know, is something we can carry with us each and every day. You know, there's a, a word that I just came across recently um, in, my, in my news consumption, my news feed, um, called doom scrolling, this phenomenon uh, that's gained this label where um, you know, kind of pick your medium of news consumption, but this habit of cycling through the flow of things going on around us and just kind of marinating in anxiety as we look from one just, you know, kind of uh, halting, abrupting event to the next. And, you know, our, our faith indeed calls us to confront and challenge oppression and abuse of power and corruption when it's in our midst. You know, justice is love in action in the public sphere. Um, and we are called to lives of justice, just as we are called to lives of love and thankfulness. Um, but, but I know for myself, like that reading about this doom scroll, like that, that was convicting for me to hear like, yeah, I, there's probably a lot that I set my mind on um, that, that even if I could, even if, either things that I can't really attend to or fix that I don't have the power to control or things that I, I maybe could assert a little bit more power and control over, you know, calling my representatives or, or getting out and, and donating money or, or doing some different things, um, that, that really all I do is I just kind of, I say, oh, that's, that's concerning. And then I move to the next thing and say, oh, that's concerning too. And I just kind of sit there and I mire in it. Um, 
and and especially if that's if that's as far as it goes is just this recognition and then kind of sitting in it like there there's no there's no transformation of the world there's no new life that is brought forth from that activity it's 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 really just life depleting life destroying um and so we are called to yes indeed seek justice and to to strive to um, transform both our lives and the communities around us but but as i heard these words from colossians this morning this you know to um with thankfulness in our hearts to um to put on love which binds everything together that it reminded me that that no that as much as the world around us might have ample reasons for us to mire in anxiety and worry that we as Christians are called to these lives of joy and thankfulness believing that God is bigger than all of this mess that we are walking through knowing that even as as current events or things might um, lead us to worry or frustration that the scope of God's reach is bigger and broader than that and it holds each of us so may you this day be mindful of what you are setting your mind on may you confront the things that cause anxiety and worry where it's appropriate where you have the power and are empowered to do so but may you also set your mind on things above may you set your mind on the reasons that you have in your life for joy and thankfulness love and gratitude because this these are the hallmarks that god calls us to in our lives of faith let's pray gracious god i give you thanks for all of the many blessings that you bestow on us in our lives, um, for the many rich blessings that we we get from um, living in this time of rich abundance uh, and technological innovation and marvel, but even more particularly, those blessings that you give that transcend all of time and space. Your love and faithfulness to us, to humanity, the way that we are covered in the righteousness of Christ. God, you hold each of us. Free us from the worry and the anxiety of the, the things going on around us in this world. Help us. Empower us to respond, to be signs of justice and love, working on behalf of our neighbors and the needs that they have. But help us to do so strengthened, empowered, fired up by the way that we have been transformed through the love of Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Take care, friends. Uh, blessings on your week, and we'll see you down the road apace.